Today I'm going to show you how to take audio cassettes and transfer them to your computer so that you can preserve them as a digital file. Okay, so it's the weekend and I had asked previously some of the channel members if they thought it would be beneficial to learn how to digitize old audio cassettes. This is uh, an old audio cassette that, that my daughter did uh, when she was three years old singing Happy Father's Day uh, to her daddy who was out of town and we mailed this cassette to him. and. Um, so anyway, it was, it, it's really cute. And so I'm going to show you how to digitize these old cassettes. So, you know, this is an old analog format, but we need to get it into our computer so that we can share it on different platforms and just preserve it for ever because these tapes don't last forever. And, um, so anyway, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, this here is the only working in all of my house, I went looking everywhere, and you know, being a tech geek, you would think I'd still have this equipment around, but I tested a lot of equipment, and the only piece that is working is this device. This is actually a retro version of a, a turntable, you know, for albums. It has a CD player, it has a radio, and over here on the side, it has a cassette player that I can put this cassette in and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it up using the speaker ports on the back. These are called RCA ports. I've, I've got a cable that's got three on here. This is normally, let's see, this would normally be video and this would be right channel audio and left channel audio. I'm just going to use the audio portions of this cable uh, to make this work. And then I'm going to plug it into a Behringer and I'll show you the Behringer here in just a second. Okay, so this is a Behringer and it costs, I think, $25 on Amazon and I will leave a link in the show notes. Um, but this is really quite easy to do. Uh, once I figured it out, I was actually kind of surprised. So I'm going to take this out of the box and show you. So I'm going to plug in the right and left channels on the back of this device. Now just about every every cassette player usually has an out port, but if it you might have a mini headphone jack, which is another conversation, but in this case I'm going to use these two jacks on the back of this cassette player. And then I'm going to take the other end of this cable, right and left audio, and this is a Behringer. I don't know if you can see that in the light, but this is a Behringer um, and it is called a U-Control UCA222. Again, links are in the show notes below. So basically what it is, let me untwist tie this. So basically what this does is it takes the two, so we're coming out of this device and we're going to plug it into uh, the input that says input and output. So I'm going to plug it in and it even shows you, I don't know if you can see that, a red port and a white port. So that represents uh, left and right, red for right, okay. And then the other end of this cable gets plugged into the back of this and I'll show you that. And then I don't need these other ports really because I'm going to use my computer as the speakers, you know, so I can hear it. Then on the other end of the Behringer, let me set this down so it doesn't confuse you, the other end of the Behringer is a USB cable that plugs into the computer and then the only other thing we need to do is download a free piece of software called audacity now i use adobe audition which is an audio program but it is super simple so uh, let me show you first of all how to hook up the other end of this okay so the other end of our cables we're going to use the the red and the white cables and I'm just we're gonna use the audio out I'm gonna plug in the red to the red side the white to the white side so we have right and left out we're going to the in 
Let's see if I can get the light just right. We're going to the end, uh, right and left on the Behringer. And so that corresponds to the other end of this cable. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that USB from the Behringer and I'm going to plug it into one of my USB ports on my computer. So now all you have to do is download Audacity. You can find that at audacityteam.org and download that, that software and then it's available to uh, use for free and then you can record. You just hit the record button on Audacity and it then play on the tape machine and uh, you can record and transfer your, your audio cassettes uh, to a digital file. Okay, so now here we are in Audacity and this is just a blank screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to press record and at the same time we're going to press play over here. Alright, so here we go. We're going to hit record on Audacity right here. We're going to hit the record button and then we're going to come over here and we're going to hit the play button which is right here. Mama, Daddy, um, happy Father's Day, Daddy. I, I love you this much. Daddy, this is, this is Katie calling here. I just love you this much. Okay, so the audio is a little low, and by the way, I'm using the space bar to start and stop. Mm -hmm. Control A to select all, then we're going to go to effect, and we're going to say uh, normalize. And so what you can do is normalize. I like to use minus 3 dB, so I like to go to minus 3 and hit OK. And as you can see, the, the waveform now is higher if we play it back. Daddy? Um, Watch the VU meter. See. So what it's going to do is it's going to take the peaks of the audio and and pull them up to minus three. Actually, don't see any peaks up that high. Um, I'm going to control A again to select the entire track, and then I'm going to say effect. I'm going to normalize uh, even higher. Let's say normalize to minus minus one and hit OK. You don't want to go too high because you don't. If you if you hit zero, it's going to start buzzing on you. Daddy, um, happy Father's Day, Daddy. Um, Watch this. Okay, so you could see it starting to get into the yellow, and if it gets into the red, you're too high. So occasionally touching the yellow is fine. You want to just get as close to the yellow and red as you can without hitting the red. So that's it. Then what you do is you export come over here and hit export. I like to export as an mp3 but you can export as a wave or whatever rocks your world. So then we export this, we give it a name, I'm gonna call it Katie, and then we put it wherever we want and then we're gonna hit save. We can put uh, title track information in there if we want. I highly recommend you give some information in there. This was Katie when she was three years old. And then we hit OK. So now that we've exported it, in this case I just exported it to my desktop for the sake of demonstrations. Put that wherever you want. Then you can right click on it and you can open it with whatever player you want to play it with. In you know, if you want to play it off of VLC or Windows Media Player. Mm -hmm. Daddy, um, happy Father's Day, Daddy. Um, I love you this much. I'm going to show you how I do it in Audition, which is an Adobe product. I'm way better at editing in Audition than I am on Audacity because I just don't ever use it because I use Audition, which is a very similar product. You can amplify sound, you can reduce noise, you can take out hiss, and that kind of stuff. I'm going to play for you a clip that I did with my daughter this exact same clip, but I edited it in in audition. You can kind of get a sense of, of the difference in sound. Mama, Daddy, um, happy Father's Day, Daddy. I, I love you this much. Okay, so you get the idea. It, I, I was able to go in using some of the effects tools. Same Same kind of thing you can do. Um, amplifying compression and you can do the normalizing process like we did over in Audacity. Um, the th 
thing I like about Audition 2 is it has some favorites where it automatically you can normalize uh, in the favorites. It's just kind of a quick shortcut list. You can also do uh, noise reduction. And basically how that works is you go in and you would sample a uh, part of the... I've already reduced the noise on this, but if you have some hiss where there's a good, say, three seconds of hiss where the, nobody's talking, you would actually capture that part. You would highlight it. So you would go over here, let's say, let's see, uh, if there were hiss right here, but I know there's not. There's probably just some clicking. Okay because I've already reduced the noise out of here, but you would highlight this, then you would go over to effects, noise reduction, capture noise print, okay? Then it's kind of like putting it on the clipboard, right? It's like a copy. And then you would go, come back over here and go control A, highlight the whole thing, and then run to the effects, noise reduction, and then process. And it will take a second for it to process, but it, what it's doing is it's going, okay, there's this background noise. It could be air conditioning noise. It could be hiss from an old tape or whatever. And it's going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to understand what that is. and I'm going to remove all of that noise. And so then you get left with just pretty clean audio. You just have to be careful. Make sure you undo it if you don't like it, because it can get, if it's if it's overprocessed, it can get kind of wobbly sounding and kind of sometimes it has an echo or a reverb kind of sound to it. So again, I'm not a super audio expert. I just know enough to uh, be dangerous and get our audio from our cassettes into an audio processing system like this so that we can digitize it and preserve it for our family. One last thing I wanted to share with you, if you want to uh, look for those products, the Behringer or you need the audio cables or whatever, or uh, the box that I use to uh, play back. The old retro box is pretty cool. Um, I have created a, a page on my Amazon affiliates page with all of these products uh, to show you uh, these kind of cool, cool stuff. So if, if that is something you're interested in, I will leave a link to, uh, to this page and I will share that information with you.